a uh, little, little disappointment. The brackets for the rear are the wrong brackets. Well, hey, thought you were uh, gonna be putting those new tracks on here. <laughs> I, can't, I can't use the tracks. What's wrong with the tracks? You got the tracks, we, they got delivered. All ready to go, Yeah. almost. Yeah, it was gonna be, you're gonna be, have to be a snow plowing machine with those tracks on, so what's the deal? What's the deal? <laughs> the, the, the brackets don't work. <laughs> the brackets don't work. Yeah, the let's the fit kit. All right, so let me show you what the fit kit is. Okay, let's pull out this track. Let's take a look at it, All what's right. going on here. Now we know we got U4, CF Moto U-Force. The snow tracks for it are third party, but they do this all the time, right? We you know we get third party accessories and uh, these were made for CF Moto, so should be able to use them. But apparently Brian ran into some trouble fitting them to this machine. So let's take a closer look, see what's going on. So. Okay. so. There's the tracks, and this is the mounting bracket, or this is a this is a support bracket that goes on the lower support arm. But the the way the support arm is is pictured, it's supposed to have a central uh, reinforcing plate with a oval hole, which this goes up inside. Uh, ours does not have that. It's a, the support arm is different. Oh, yeah. this. This hook right here is supposed to hook in into the control arm, but there's no the way it's designed. It's completely different. It doesn't it doesn't fit? It's, so, so where the hook where the hook lands? Where the hook lands is where this little triangle bracing is. Okay. Right here. Yeah. So it won't slide all the way in. It actually hits the bottom. See how there's a little. Uh, angle there yeah. it hits the bottom so it doesn't fully engage this whole piece here oh the the out. other con uh support arm has a big plate in in the middle with a oval hole kind of right where right here okay and so it would fit it right into that oval hole okay yeah. so what they show in the diagram right and we could show you on the the instructions what it's supposed to look like okay this is the bracket that we're talking about here and it bolts right here. So the, the brake housings, brake calipers right above that. You take out the the bolt that attaches the axle basically to the, or the, yeah, the axle to the control arm. But this control arm where they have documented the diagram looks nothing like the one that is on our machine. Mm. So... Um, there's a cut there's a bigger open space with a couple bracing triangles on it and this piece here um, hits right on the where the bracing triangle is so you don't get enough bite it doesn't fully engage mm. that control arm there so which is unfortunate and I, the, the width actually, it doesn't go on easily. I have to whack it with a hammer if I was trying to get that on there. Mm. Kind of where that that piece goes underneath. And like I said, there's these are really wide open spaces. So there's no space under there. Yeah, there's this little oval piece. This little oval cutout does not exist. Oh, okay. So there's no way to no. hook it in. No, not it's at all. It's showing hook it in, but there's no way to hook there's it. There's no way to hook it. You can kind of see a little bit that that piece goes bolts in right there and goes underneath. So you can see how the, the rotor's right there. It's this, according to Camso, it's probably the support arm from the XL version of the U-Force, which is the four-door. Okay. So he said that, uh, that um, CF Moto's been putting the other support arm on the non XL version. Oh. So. So who got it wrong? <laughs> Hard to say. I think neither. I think, you know, the, okay. the dealer doesn't, you know, they just know what it's supposed to come with. And mm -hmm. so that's the kit that's supposed to work. 
Okay. Um, so. So Camso is basing their design off of what they expect to be on right. the CF Moto, right. but CF Moto has sort of switched up depending on the model. But so it sounds like they're interchangeable between mm -hmm. the models. So maybe okay. they have more of a supply of one and they use it. So okay, that, that would be my guess. Hmm. So, which is uh, a little disappointing because we're getting a snowstorm and yeah, we want to go in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm off this week. So I yeah. can play and have fun. <laughs> right? What a week to have a vacation and not yeah. be able to use your snow tracks on right. your brand new machine you just bought, right? right. <laughs> so I guess the next thing to do would be to call the dealership and see if they can sort this out for us right. and figure out how we can get these working on our machine so we can actually use it this winter. Right. <laughs> Before the winter's over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess so, we'll give them a call. We'll give them a call. Thanks for calling. This is Justin. Hey, Justin. It's Brian Hager. How are you? Hey, good man, how's it going? Good. The track kit for the, the tracks is it isn't quite right. I talked to Camso via chat yesterday. They said that um, some of the U-Force models were the rear control arms were made with the XL version. Okay. And so the, the bracket that uh, bolts to the bottom um, doesn't fit. So, okay. So they. Um, yeah, and then, and then we got we had gotten your email. I think you had sent the pictures over, and then okay. we were actually going to follow up with you today too. Yeah. So were they going to make good on that and get you the proper parts you needed? It had to go through you. So. Interesting. He said that if you order it, they'll they'll send them out uh, free of charge. Yeah, we you know that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. We don't deal with Camso direct either. We get them mm. from. So uh, I don't know if we need to talk to our distributor or yeah. if we need to try to talk to Camso because obviously, you know, and, and it's weird too because when we order those, it's like we had to like quadruple check with, you know, starting yeah. with the customer and the customer's unit to us, to our Western Power Sports rep, which is the distributor rep, to yeah. them like to make sure that these are the right ones. Well, I, I think it's like that, just so that piece. I'm surprised they screwed that up and didn't. Well, I think they think it's it's can it's a CF Moto's issue. Yeah, I'll we'll check that here in a few minutes, and then I'll figure out what we need to get, and then uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, get those coming from wherever we need to. Sounds good. Great. Thanks, Justin. Cool. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you. All right. Bye. Um. So I wanted to touch base with you. So I talked to Camzo, and um. So the guy I talked to is basically telling me that. They're, they do not have a kit to fit that machine, which seems quite a bit different from what the chat guy was telling you. So I just wanted to touch base with you on that and then maybe pick your brain a little bit. We're trying to figure out a way to resolve this and get it going. So um, what were you told when you were speaking to somebody? He said that the uh, support arms are probably from the XL U-Force. Okay. And so we need the bracket for the XL. So basically you would need the brackets from the Camzo kit that would fit the XL model? That's what you were being told? Correct. Okay. The guy, the guy right. said that uh, CF Moto occasionally puts the other support bracket on the, the, the two-door model. Okay, so he was making it sound like if we could get you the the support brackets from their XL kit, that would be the only thing required to make that fit correctly. That's kind of what you were hearing. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me let me get in contact with them again, and I'll try to get some better info, and I'll uh, definitely keep you in the loop. Okay. Thanks. Stick All right. Me. So we kind of got an answer <laughs> from the dealership <laughs> about uh, being able to get the right pieces sent to us. Um, Brian emailed some diagrams and schematics. And some, and pictures. And pictures. So the uh, Camso said they, could, they can send out the, the correct brackets at no charge. Um, so we just need to see how quickly that can happen. Yeah. You Is tried it, calling Camso, but they don't really have... They don't, they don't have any direct way to co connect with yeah. Camso. So yeah. you can... You can uh, uh, messenger chat with them, 
uh, but you can't call them on the phone and get what you need. Because mm -hmm. so. the tracks came through the dealer. Everything was a package deal. Anyway, hopefully we get it sorted out, you guys. Let us know if you've had any problems fitting your campsos to your machine. Have you come across this problem before? Are we just the lucky, unlucky ones? <laughs> so we're going to use these. We're going to use them this winter. So hopefully it gets all sorted out and we'll let you guys know how it works out. But this week, it's been kind of a bummer. Yeah, we, we got some trails that need to be ridden. So, <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll keep you posted on the status of our campsite tracks for our U-Force. Yep. You know the deal. Thumbs up. <laughs> See ya.